the two rules you need to use when you work with the cross product. Now, if I define, let's say, uh, i, j, and k again, so you have a vector going like this as i, vector going this way as j, and a vector going this way as k. So we define those three unit vectors along x, y, z axis. Now, if I do i cross i, by the definition, this is going to be 1 times 1 times the sine of the angle between those two, which is 0. And then you're going to have i unit vector. So this will come out to be 0. Or the cross product between i's gives you a um, null vector. Same thing if you do j cross j. That's will also come out to be 0 and if you do k cross k that will also be 0. So <coughs> the cross products by the unit vectors about themselves ends up being 0. But now if I take i cross j then you will have 1 1 sine 90 the angle between x and y axis is 90 times you're going from i to j and if you use the right and thumb rule your unit vector will come out to be k so this here gives you k then if you go j cross k I mean <coughs> you're going from here to here, then if you follow the same formula, then j cross k will become i. Then if I take k cross i, and that will give you j. So those are the three products, and they give you the vector perpendicular to those. Then you can also have, let's say, j cross i, which is going to be negative k. If I use this equation, then if I take k cross j, this will be negative i. And if I take i cross k, that's going to be negative j. So just by using the simple formulas, you are able to do these. Now, suppose you're given, you're given a vector A as a Cartesian vector form, which means you have AX, AY, and AZ. Then you're given vector B, so it has its components Bx, Bxy, and Bz. So when we say that we're given A as well as B, we're really given the components Ax, Ay, and Az, and the components Bx, Bxy, and Bz. Then I want to do A cross B. So that's going to be A x i a y j a z k with the cross product as b x i b y j and b z k just direct multiplication of those two vectors now if I go through the whole products that means you take the first one here, you'll have AX, BX, I cross I. Then you're going to have AX, BY, I cross J, plus AX and BZ, I cross K. That's the first product. 
then you have the second one which will be ay bx and that's going to be j cross i plus a y b y j cross j plus a y b c and I'm going to have j cross k then there's one more product left and that's going to be a c b x K cross I plus <coughs> AZ BY. This time we're going to have K cross J. And the last one here is going to be AZ BZ and K cross K. So that's just the uh, direct multiplications of the terms you have in that equation. <coughs> now if you look at each one of them, see I cross I will go to zero, J cross J will go to zero, and same thing happens to K cross K. <coughs> they all go to zero. Then <coughs> I cross J from this equation that gives you K then you have I cross K. That will be here, and you'll have negative J. Then you have J cross I, that's negative K. Then you have J cross K. That's going to be I. Then we have K cross I, that's going to be J. And then you have <coughs> k cross j, and that should be negative i. So those are the final products of that equation. And then <coughs> if you assemble all them together, this thing here will be, let's say, we go with the i. So with the i, you have a, y, b, z, and then we have a, c, b, y. Those are the <coughs> two terms. Then you have with the j, you should have this one here, that's a, z, Bx, then there should be one more, that's Ax, Bz.